A couple of weeks ago, I released uh, two videos on custom post types. One of them was five awesome reasons why you should use custom post types. And the other one was how to create testimonial carousels with custom post types and loop templates. Now I said in those two videos that I would show you more ways to use those two tools, custom post types and loop templates to make awesome things for your website. And in this video, we're gonna have a look at team profiles. Now team profiles are a really important feature for local business websites, especially, but to be honest, any company that wants to build rapport with its core team and, and start to communicate what they're like, uh, team profile pages or team profiles and team pages are really important features on a website. We usually create these using team profile widgets that you would find with essential add-ons for Elementor, for example, or if we want a few more fields or a bit more sort of a bit more diversity in what we can do, um, then we might actually build them out manually on a team page. Now that's all well and good, that's great, but I really want to show you the advantages of using custom post types. Now, what you're looking at here are, is a custom post type loop carousel. And you can see that you know the design of this is really quite free. We can do whatever we'd like with it. And if I just show you down the page, a few more examples of loop templates using these same custom post type uh, profiles that I've got uh, or items, you can see just how easy it is to create completely different loop templates uh, to present your team members. Now, if we wanna go a bit more serious, uh, then this looks really good. Um, perhaps we would want to you know, make these black and white and take away the, the key colors that I've put into there, but that's fine. We can do what we would like. Um, and of course, I was just playing around here, but you know, look at how fun this looks. If, if that's the vibe we're going for, this is just another loop template created from the core custom post type items that we can create in the WordPress dashboard. When I created the testimonials uh, video, uh, you may remember that, uh, well, that was an actual testimonials page, uh, but you can also create little sort of little widgets in the corner. And obviously you could have that, uh, a team profile version of that. Uh, that's no problem. Just create a new lo loop template. Now, if you would like to build out a custom post type from scratch, I go through that in a testimonial carousel video. So I won't do that in this video, but I will give you a little run through about the, with the process again. Uh, essentially, it's to use advanced custom fields plugin. The free version will do everything you need it to do. And we use that to create the custom post type. So you can see here, I've got the, the team members custom post type created. We then need to create the field group. Now this is where you can start creating immediately. So it's not just when we start building with the loop template that we get creative. Uh, you can see here that we've got the typical fields, job title, uh, we've got the name, the main bio, the, you know, the boring links, you know, Twitter, Instagram, blah, blah, blah. But then we can get a bit colorful, uh, literally with what is the team member's favorite color? And what is their favorite saying? You know, I thought everybody's known for saying something all the time. And it's quite endearing for customers to, you know, uh, start understanding that. And when we see that in action here, uh, I think you'll agree it's just building rapport and, uh, and perhaps just lightening the mood a little bit. So going back to the fields, this is where you can really start to create all of those different bits of information that you think might be relevant to your team members and to present your company. All right, that's fantastic. So then you just simply need to create them just like a blog post or a page, go to the edit page, you know, create new and start filling in the fields. And it's as simple as adding a featured image, the name, uh, filling out all of these fields, and the best thing is that a client can do this. They can literally go along to their WordPress dashboard, uh, pop along to team members, add a new team member, and simply type in the fields and add an image. It's really, really simple for them to do. They don't have to go into the Elementor editor to start playing around with all of that. So here we would just simply add a new staff member. Absolutely easy to do. So. In the by the end of that, we have a nice core list of team members. And you can see here, we, we've got an entire list of team members. We can easily add another. And these are feeding dynamically into the website through our loop carousels or through our post grids. And uh, it's all looking absolutely wonderful and it's easy to manage. 
So I'll just quickly show you again uh, some of the possibilities that we have here. Obviously, we've got all of these different sort of loop carousels, but this is what might feature usually on something like the homepage where it's, hey, meet our team, Here, here's our team, and that's really lovely. But eventually, uh, we might want people to actually you know, go to a team page. And again, because we can use the loop templates in something like a, uh, a grid, uh, we have lovely team pages. So uh, this is, a, this is a, a loop grid as opposed to a carousel. And again, we can build out new uh, loop templates for this. We can make it look how we'd like it to look. So here again, we have more of a sort of a sensible looking one, a bit more reserved. And this one, uh, obviously with a, a CPT, you can, you can actually introduce a taxonomy. So with this one, you can you can add a filter, so it might be department. And then of course, people can actually just filter out the, the, the by the department and, and see the staff members that work in that. So I think you'll agree, that's an amazing amount of functionality from just one comprehensive, easily manageable list. Uh, you're able to create all of these lovely team page designs uh, with filterable taxonomies. And then of course, you're actually able to just put carousels here, there and everywhere. Uh, that's absolutely fantastic. But I wanna show you something else that's really, really awesome as well. Custom post types, they're not just about the loop templates and the carousels and the grids. They can actually go somewhere like a, like a blog post, like a page. And so when we think about that and we click uh, to, to go further into it, your team members can actually have their own page and it's not difficult to do. If you filled this in, all of the information is there. You just need to create a single post template. And so, where are we? Uh, this is a single post template. Now this is more of a fun way to, to do it. Obviously this is quite a fun page, um, but you could certainly have it looking a bit more CV-ish or a bit more straight lined for the professional look. Um, but I suppose I was just in quite a colorful mood when I was playing around with all of this. Um, and of course, as as with a, a blog post, for example, uh, you can just, you can move along and explore all the different members of staff. All of the information is here. Now, if you take this from an SEO perspective as well, um, these pages, if you do some correct heading structure and, and put a bit of work into this, these are all actually going to rank for professional searches in the area, for example, possibly. It depends what approach you take. But in creating team profiles in the most easy way possible, which is to fill out a few fields, not only do they add dynamically across the site in really awesome ways that suits a design without limitations. So you are also creating rankable pages for professions. So web designer in blah, 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 and or, or marketing as you know, professional la la la. And depending on what fields you add to all of this and how you structure it, these are rankable pages and it's really going to help with the collective professional weight of your website. Okay, cool. So um, I'm going to leave it there. I can't wait to throw myself more into the use of custom post types using loop carousels and all, you know, goodness knows what. There are so many ways that you can use these two tools together. And in reality, it really does revolutionize your site. And again, check out my other videos if you want to look at the five awesome reasons why custom post types are um, uh, really good for your workflow and for your work process. Um, but I hope I've just added another one onto that list. Okay, uh, like, subscribe, keep in touch, get in touch with me with your thoughts. I'd love to hear your feedback on all of this. Um, dare I say, I'd love to see some of the things you're creating. So thank you very much.